Having IBD makes it hard for your body to digest food and absorb water and nutrients. That's pretty problematic, seeing as how humans need food, water, and nutrients to survive. Having IBD puts you at risk for malnutrition, which can come at you from a few different angles. First, the inflammation itself can stop your body from absorbing the important nutrients it needs. Inflammation can then also lead to other symptoms like pain and nausea, which reduce your appetite, causing you to stop eating nutritious foods. Other symptoms like diarrhea and frequent bowel movements can cause dehydration, and rectal bleeding may lead to anemia. Lastly, if you've had surgery to remove a piece of your bowel, that reduces your body's surface area to absorb all those nutrients. There are a few noticeable signs to look for. If you're losing weight, if your wounds are healing slowly, or if you're feeling tired, sluggish, and run down, you may be malnourished. You should talk to your doctor about your symptoms and ask to get tested for vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Try to eat a balanced diet and ask to speak to a dietitian if you're having trouble eating well. Adding vitamin and mineral supplements to your routine can help you stay healthy, but talk to your doctor before taking any. Ultimately, the best way to steer clear of malnutrition is to keep a balanced diet, stay hydrated, and cut out foods that worsen your symptoms. Knowing and avoiding your trigger foods will keep you one step ahead of your IBD. Not sure what yours are? Try keeping track of your diet in a food journal and note any symptoms that arise. Everyone's ideal diet is a little different, but if you're having trouble finding yours or struggling with restrictions, ask your doctor to recommend a registered dietitian who can help you get on track. Remember, malnutrition is serious business for patients with IBD. If you're experiencing any of these signs and symptoms, talk to your doctor about getting tested and getting back on track.